Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to the Electra Green Tech Limited Q1 FY23 earnings conference call hosted by Nomura. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchstone telephone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Kapil Singh from Nomura. Thank you and over to you, sir. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining uh, this call. Uh, from the management team of Electra, we have today Mr. K.V. Pradeep, Chairman Come Managing Director, Mr. Sharad Chandra, CFO, Mr. Hanuman Prasad, Company Secretary, and also Mr. Ramesh, uh, Manager. Uh, sir, uh, Mr. Pradeep, I'll hand over to you for uh, opening remarks. Thank you. Thank you, Kapil. May I start my remarks? Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, good evening, all. This is Pradeep from Electra Green Tech. Uh, we are happy to announce that we have supplied, till we have supplied 750 buses which are operating across the country. And uh, our buses have uh, completed uh, about 6 crore kilometers on Indian roads. Uh, which is the highest uh, as far as uh, electric buses are concerned. So um, uh, we are progressing very well. Um, also, the results, the Q1 results yesterday we have announced, they are all uh, 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 very promising. And uh, uh, quarter on quarter, we are progressing very well. Um, we have about uh, 3,300 buses on hand order. And uh, which are required to get uh, supplied from 12 months, to, uh, 12 months to 18 months. And Electra Green Tech is uh, um, progressing uh, uh, very well. And uh, <coughs> furthermore, orders also we are expecting. Uh, uh, I invite the questions, uh, any questions from the uh, participants. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may, may enter star and one on their touchstone telephone. If your questions have been answered and you wish to withdraw yourself from the queue, you may enter star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. To ask a question, you may enter star and one. We have the first question from the line of Gunjan from Bank of America. Please go ahead. Um, hi, um, can you hear me? Yes, Gunjan, yes. please go ahead. Okay. Hi. Uh, thanks for taking uh, my question. I just had a few uh, questions on, uh, you know, on the CESL order. Um, uh, the, you know, if, if I recall, you had called out that this was a pretty aggressive bid that was made. And uh, now if I see that, you know, you all have agreed to participate in the bid matching the same price that Tamo did. I'm just wondering, you know, has anything changed and, you know, how are STUs thinking? Are they willing to take on uh, more uh, OEMs beyond Tata Motors given the bid, you know, given the bid has already been, or the winner has already been announced? Some thoughts on that? Yeah. Is it the question? That's the first question, and I have, uh, you know, one more. Let me, let me reply to your uh, uh, first question. Uh, this is Pradeep answering your uh, question. Uh, see, um, uh, CESL has floated a tender for about 5,500 buses, where uh, one of our competitors has uh, got about uh, 5,000 numbers, I mean, right? same number, 5,000 numbers, and uh, um, a couple of uh, cities, uh, we are asked to match the price where we have not. And especially at Hyderabad, we have uh, taken, we have matched the price and we have taken. The reason why we have uh, given our consent is that the number of kilometers that are being operated in Hyderabad are 
around 300 kilometers. When compared to the other cities, the number of kilometers that are being operated at Hyderabad are much higher than the assured kilometers. Whereas you may be knowing that we are operating 40 buses in Hyderabad for the past four years. So we know uh, the routes, we know the schedules, we know the number of kilometers. So for that reason, being the number of kilometers are much higher than the number of kilometers that are assured, we have given our consent and we have taken uh, uh, that order. Other than that, though uh, uh, at other places we are asked to match to the prices, we have not uh, uh, agreed for it. Okay, got it. This is helpful. Um, the other question that I had was on the um, on the funding plans. From what I understand, at uh, Electra level, you're looking at some uh, funding, uh, but EVA, which is where the mobility as a service or you know these contracts of SPU will be placed, uh, won't the balance sheet uh, requirement or let's say it won't that uh, business be more balance sheet heavy and you know there's need for uh, funding there. So I'm just understanding the thought process that, you know, if you end up servicing these 3,000 or 4,000 buses, it's a pretty, uh, you know, seven, eight hundred million uh, dollars kind of a contract value, which will need to be serviced by EVA over a period of time. So, you know, how are we thinking about uh, the financing of both Electra as well as the uh, EVA uh, 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 company? Yeah. Uh, let me just briefly explain about the uh, uh, organization structure. You know, MEL is the, um, a group company, uh, I mean, uh, Electra is the group company, one of the group companies of uh, MEIL, and EY Trans is the 100% subsidiary of uh, um, MEIL. So, you know very well that uh, Electra is a listed entity, and 51% is the uh, stake that is being held by promoters. And uh, as far as EY Trans is concerned, the, being it is 100% subsidiary of MEIL, all the funding and other things are being taken care by MEIL. And uh, Electra, as far as Electra is concerned, other than working capital, we do not wish to, uh, uh, we do not require any funds. But in the recent past, we have uh, made some of the uh, announcements that we are raising about 800 to 1,000 crores from the market. Uh, the very purpose of it is we have acquired 150 acres of land here to develop a manufacturing facility where we want to uh, produce 5,000 in the initial stage and 10,000 as an ultimate uh, capacity of buses per annum. So to Manufacture that to uh, develop that infrastructure, we require 800 to 1000 crores of uh, 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 amount. So, for that, we are planning uh, uh, to raise from the market. The discussions are on with our board, and still uh, the board has not taken the call yet. So, once the board takes the call, immediately we will come to the public and we shall. Mm, I inform the way the uh, uh, the model how we want to raise the funds. So this is uh, 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 the structure, and uh, this is about the fund requirement. Okay, thank you. That's really helpful. Just last question, if I can squeeze in and all squeeze in is on the BYD uh, arrangement. If you can just refresh us as to the timeline until which agreement. You know, how does it work? What you know very well that uh, BYD is a technology partner for us, and uh, in 25 we have the agreement which shall get extended. It shall definitely get extended, having the volumes uh, uh, run up. BYD would also be interested to extend the agreement. As of now, till 2025, definitely we have a we have an agreement with. Hope I'm clear on all your doubts. Uh, sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We have the next question from the line of Deepak Podar from Safaya Capital. Please go ahead. 
Yeah, um, thank you very much, uh, sir, for the opportunity. So I just wanted to understand uh, first up, uh, so what's our current execution capability? I mean, uh, per month or, uh, or yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, as of now, uh, we can produce 100 buses a, a month, and we are targeting uh, to raise that to 150. So that's the, the capacity is up now. And by when? Pardon? By when we are looking to raise it to 150 buses per, per month? Another uh, uh, two, three months. In two to three months. Okay, understood. Yes. And, and you mentioned this 3,000 buses orders that we need to execute over next 12 to 18 months, right? Yes. Uh, in that case, uh, uh, about uh, 800 to 1,000 buses uh, may require to get supplied uh, uh, in around uh, 24 months. So okay. remaining 2,000 we shall have to supply in 18 months. Okay, okay. And so, so what would be our execution target for this year, FI23? Uh, we are targeting 1,000 uh, numbers. Okay, okay. But but, but then, then still I think 2,000 over one and a half year, uh, uh, 2,000 buses over one and a half year then would still be difficult, right, uh, to execute uh, given our capacity right now? The next six months definitely we would be, we would, we would be doing around 900 buses sir, with which we shall be meeting the target. Okay, so FI 23,000 buses and 1HFI 24,900 buses. That's what yes. we are... Uh, we might. And average buses uh, ticket size is about what 1.5 to 1.7 crores. There are uh, four or five models of the models uh, in, uh, in this uh, in this bus. So mm -hmm. each model uh, uh, costs differently. Okay. Okay, understood. Understood. And um, um, and in terms of margins, uh, margin profile. How do we look uh, look as uh, as a margin profile for us? So, uh, Mr. Sharat uh, shall reply to this. Okay, sir. Hello. Yes. Uh, hi, how are you? Yeah, yeah. So, see, we are expecting the uh, EBITDA margins uh, uh, around 12% is what we achieved. We are expecting uh, to maintain the same level going forward. Okay, but but, but ideally I thought with a higher base, I mean, uh, at 1,000 buses, uh, our, uh, uh, won't we get some leverage advantage or, or uh, uh, because of that our... Uh, operating profit margin uh, kind of uh, should inch upwards? See, uh, see basically the contribution level uh, uh, will uh, will be around 15-20%. Mm -hmm. Overall, in terms of volume, we expect uh, EBITDA margins of 12% uh, should be a good guidance. So we have to see the volumes also, uh, keeping that volume in mind, whatever we do in 100 numbers, what is 1000 numbers, so definitely cannot be the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, fair enough. Uh, understood. And, and any kind of raw material pressure are we are we facing right now, or, or uh, how, um, how is the on the raw material front for us? Yeah, we are importing the cells from China, uh -huh. and uh, uh, earlier there was some uh, inconvenience in the imports, but now slowly it is getting settled. So probably there may not be the same constraint what we have experienced in the earlier uh, quarters. Mm -hmm. the things are getting improved. Okay, it, it, it's getting improved. So uh, raw material availability is not uh, uh, not not an issue for us, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's it from my side. All the very best, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. We have the next question from the line of through from Ambika Fincap. Please go ahead. Yeah, this is Nishit Cha here. Uh, Thanks for taking my question. Uh, congratulations on a good set of numbers. This is the operator. I'm really sorry to interrupt, uh, but we cannot hear you clearly, yeah. sir. Can you hear me now? Yes, thank you. Please go Okay, ahead. so basically my question is, uh, you had a roadmap of uh, taking up your capacity to 10,000, 15,000 uh, buses. 
now can you can you give us a road map as to how this is going to happen and in between you were to do the fundraising and what is the status on the fundraising program and when are you going to increase because 1000 buses a year means nothing because the competition is doing 5000 10000 buses a year and with a partner like BYD I think we are losing out the opportunity can you please elaborate Uh, see, uh, as of now, the electric bus market is in very initial stage, and the largest tender that got floated is 5,500 buses by uh, CESL. Uh, and in the coming um, days, definitely there would be much larger. Uh, uh, number of tenders that uh, are going up, are coming up. So now uh, we are trying to establish a manufacturing facility uh, with an ultimate capacity of 10,000 and an initial capacity of 5,000. So first of all, uh, we are uh, developing the infrastructure in 150 acres of land which we have procured nearby Hyderabad. So in coming uh, in eight to ten months' time, uh, we shall develop that uh, infrastructure. And uh, uh, in the initial uh, um, periods, uh, it would be 5,000. And as I mentioned, it would, uh, the ultimate uh, capacity would be 10,000 numbers. So uh, uh, in the probably by uh, uh, next uh, uh, year, August, uh, um, June, August, we shall uh, be completing the facility. And the facility, uh, with that uh, uh, new facility, we shall be ready to manufacture 5,000 uh, uh, buses. So that's the plan, number, uh, plan as far as uh, um, the facility is concerned. Number two, as I mentioned earlier, we require 800,000 crores for developing this uh, manufacturing facility. Uh, for the fundraise, uh, various options are being discussed. Uh, in the board, once the board decides, we shall uh, uh, come out with a fair proposal. Uh, thanks for that update. And what is the status on trucks uh, and uh, three wheelers? Uh, can can our technology not be used for the trucks? And can we not have um, uh, uh, the batteries for three wheelers? And can we not manufacture the batteries for three wheelers? And can we not have the three wheelers? Yeah, uh, two questions. One is trucks and the other is three wheelers. Let me answer to the uh, trucks. Uh, in the recent past, uh, perhaps you may be knowing that Electra has uh, developed a tipper, electric tipper. The tipper, we have completely uh, designed the tipper and with our own design, uh, uh, we have developed the product. And the tipper, uh, the trials are completely uh, done with and um, the product is getting homologated. Uh, once the homologation is completed, then uh, we shall take up the commercial production. Um, and we shall, uh, 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 once the homologation is completed, we shall be unveiling the product. And uh, parallelly, we shall also be starting the commercial production. So that's the uh, uh, pro progress and program of this tipper. Uh, as far as the uh, batteries, which you are mentioning for the three wheelers and other things, uh, uh, we are just importing the cells and we are assembling the um, batteries here. But uh, uh, the batteries require requires to get manufactured where uh, in India there is no such facility available. And all OEMs are uh, importing the batteries, that is cells, from China. So we are also, uh, Electra also importing the same cells from uh, China and uh, uh, getting them packaged. So since we are importing the cells, there is no point in uh, uh, supplying the uh, packaged batteries to three wheelers. Sir, my last question is on the trucks. Are we going to tie up with BYD or uh, are we looking at some other options? Yeah, a good question. We have having a, a, a very long experience and very rich uh, expertise uh, in this electric mobility. 
uh, our R&D team has developed, has designed and developed a product for uh, this tipper. And in accordance to our design, our own designs and our own uh, requirements, we have developed that product which has run very well, which has proven itself, uh, which has proven uh, uh, in accordance to our requirements. And uh, we, that, uh, the same product which we have uh, developed is getting homologated. Uh, so that is uh, the uh, progress about the tick part. It is not with BYD. Thank you. Thank you for taking my questions and all Thank the best. You. Thank you very much. Thank you. We have the next question from the line of Nagendra Morya from Growth X Capital. Please go ahead. Hi, good evening, sir. Am I audible? Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, congratulations on uh, good performance of the company. Uh, just wanted to understand the outlook on the insulator business. Uh, I remember we have been discussed uh, earlier this uh, regarding to achieve 200 crore of revenue uh, for the FY23. So how this pro thing is progressing in the uh, uh, insulator business? Yes, sir, can you answer? Yeah. See, uh, uh, as far as insulator is concerned, we have uh, 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 we have actually increased exports with one large customer in US. Uh, from a 15 crores uh, levels in last year, we are expecting to do achieve about minimum 50 crores this year. So, uh, and uh, last year due to COVID, the uh, tenders all got delayed. And this year, all the tenders are getting finalized and uh, we are hoping to achieve the 200 crores uh, uh, target. So that means uh, uh, in coming months, on coming quarter, the uh, sales from this segment will be much higher uh, because uh, this quarter we have been almost 25 crore sales done. So I think second quarter or from this current quarter sales will be accelerated. The third quarter, three quarter three and quarter four are expected to be the bigger quarters. Same with the sir, bus segment because uh, almost thousand bu thousand buses we are targeting to deliver and almost 170 buses we have delivered in quarter one. So I think uh, for the third and fourth uh, there will be acceleration in the sales uh, in bus e bus as well, right? Yes, correct. You are right. Uh, one, sir, uh, on the update, just uh, clarification on this uh, expansion side. So what are the timing uh, by when this expansion will be completed? Expansion, expansion probably uh, by uh, June, July. Uh, we are expecting the infrastructure to get developed. Uh, by next year, right, sir? Yes. Okay, sir. Uh, just one small question. Uh, our interest cost has been increasing last two, three quarters. Are we, uh, I, we have raised debt or something? This is uh, just due to the working capital facility? Yeah, uh, this is a good question. Uh, this quarter, we have availed uh, the total fund base and non-fund base limits for both the businesses, which has resulted in uh, 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 higher interest cost. So are we expecting uh, further increase from here? It will be around the same level. So we expect uh, the finance cost to be around 3%. 3% of the sales? Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you and all the best, sir. Thank you. Thank you. We have the next question from the line of K. Sudhakar Rao from Transparent Securities. Please go ahead. Yeah, good evening, uh, Mr. Sarah and Mr. Pradeep. Who is answering me? Good evening. Please tell me. Yeah, good evening. Yeah, this is, uh, you said that uh, the order book is about 3,300 buses. Does it include the 2,100 uh, best uh, which is under litigation? Yes, yes, yes. It is not in lit litigation. Supreme yeah. Court has given clear order to go ahead with the uh, supplies. Uh -huh. So you are, you are supplying, apart from the 10 that you have already delivered, you can go ahead uh, with the delivering with the other buses also before the next hearing, September? Yes, yes, we can, we can. Uh -huh. so regarding the three-wheelers, uh, last time you said that uh, you are contemplating to manufacture about three lakh uh, three-wheelers. Uh, what is the position? You are going ahead with that or? So see, CSL has invited a tender for 1.5 lakh uh, units of uh, three-wheelers, out of which we got uh, 
around 30000 three wheeler order but mm-hmm. unfortunately csl has uh, uh, kept aside the program of uh, uh, procuring the three wheelers and they have started paying the attentions towards the buses where they have floated 5500 buses at that so now as uh, csl has not uh, initiated any procurement action we have not uh, manufactured or supplied uh, the three wheelers mm-hmm. so by the, when do you expect the new plant to come up so you said the june just now you said that june july does it uh, take that long for uh, your masters in infrastructure and uh, building plants yeah definitely uh, you are right you are right we are masters in infrastructure but uh, the uh, as we were uh, uh, mentioning it is completely an automated manufacturing facility where human inter- intervention would be very minimal so the equipment uh, which is required to place in the plant requires a little uh, longer delivery period so for that reason at least uh, uh, 10 to 12 months time is essentially required for that Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, that's all, Mr. Pradeep. Thank you so much for answering. Thank you very much. Thank you. We have the next question from the line of Puneet Chokhani from Black okay. Coal Services. Please go ahead. Hi, uh, thank you for taking my question. I actually had two questions. Uh, one regarding uh, the fundraise. you mentioned that the 800000 crore fundraise that uh, you're planning on doing uh, if i if i heard correctly would be through capital markets uh, so if, if that is the case that that's a decently large amount of dilution that would sort of take promoter holding down more than 51% i think they want 51% at this point what are your thoughts on that number one uh, second question would be uh, what is a so tube investment uh the murugappa group company has just acquired uh, or rather high tech stake in a company called ipn tech electric the haryana based uh, uh, electric truck company so what are your thoughts on that thank you uh see the uh, first question is yes we have planned to raise about 800000 crore but the existing promoter do not wish to dilute any of these stakes he shall also equally contribute for the additional amount whatever the company requires i hope i have an, uh, answered your first point the second point uh, the tipper which is developed is purely with the in house uh, developed technology and with our in house uh, uh, design we have developed the tipper we have not uh, uh, if my understanding is right you are mentioning that um, um, taking over of uh, some uh, uh, company uh, which is not the case from our side we have not taken over any of the uh, companies nor we have uh, um, uh, attempted so the tipper what has been developed is purely in house hope i am clear uh, yes the- yes absolutely so you are clear i just wanted your sense on the business that was acquired considering it's a electric vehicle uh, they supply bus they supply trucks to all the cement companies is what i read so i mean today just to get your sense on what ipl tech electric i just wanted your two thoughts on it since you're part of the business uh, but you answered my question that say uh, so just one more question to clarify uh, you mentioned that you want the factory to be up and running by june july of next year if i heard that correctly uh, how how if just from a thumb rule perspective how long does it typically take to construct a factory of this size so once you raise the money yeah, it is like this once we raise the money uh, it, 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 it should get completed in uh, about 8 months time so if you have to if for that matter if you have to get the factory up and running by june july that means you have to raise the money by october november that is what i'm trying to understand yes, is that yes, correct yes. november november we should uh, uh, be in a position to raise the money okay uh, all right uh, so lastly in terms of uh, this best order that is in litigation there was some uh, press release that was uh, 
I think, put out by the company on BFC talking about how the Supreme Court has put a stay on the order and the next hearing is sometime in September, if I if I read it right. Uh, your two thoughts on that. So how does this litigation work if, if the Supreme Court has put a stay on the order that was basically put by Tata Motors? Uh, I mean, how is it, is it, I mean, can you still supply buses A, B? Uh, if you're, how many, how many buses of these 2000 odd buses have you already supplied uh, to BEST already? Thank you. Yeah. Uh, the first uh, point is, uh, the Supreme Court has, um, what has happened is, uh, the order, the LOI has, uh, has been released to Electra. And also, we have concluded the agreement with uh, BEST. And uh, subsequent to that, uh, Tata Motors has approached the uh, uh, High Court of Mumbai, where the High Court has, uh, uh, has uh, 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 given the order in favor of uh, uh, Tata due to cancelling the... Um, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, please. Hanuman uh, shall reply to this. Hi. Hi, this is Hanuman. I would brief you the case, actually, you will understand. Basically, a EV Trans, which is the arm of the Valapra, has won the order, wherein one of the uh, competitors, actually, Tata Motors, moved to the court on the reasons, two reasons. One is they have been disqualified. Another one is they challenged the giving letter of award, award to the EV, to the Honorable High Court of uh, Bombay. So, Honorable High Court of Bombay verdict has came saying that disqualifying the petitioner is the Tata Motors is the right decision. At the, at the same time, they set aside the decision give, decision of the best to give the letter of power to the EV. Agreed by that, we move to the Supreme Court. Supreme Court has given a stay on the order of the Bombay High Court only with regard to the uh, set aside of the decision of the best giving award to the letter of power, letter of award to the EV. So, and EV is permitted to go, go ahead for supplies. This is what the whole crux of the matter as far as the pending with the Supreme Court. Do you have any queries on this? Yeah, so I mean, um, I, even though I don't understand litigation, just from a layman's perspective, I want to understand if tomorrow, since it's a stay, it's not a verdict that has been uh, come out, that's been given out by the Supreme Court. So tomorrow, if Supreme Court comes up with a verdict and says that the order or the LOI has to be cancelled, what happens in a case like that? Because it's, I mean, today you're you're showing showing us an order book of 3,000 odd buses, of which, I mean, 2,300, 2,400 bus come from one particular uh, uh, sort of uh, state, or so to speak, one one particular customer. So tomorrow, uh, even though I understand the future is potentially very large. But what happens in a case where you've already supplied or you've already started supplying buses to BEST and the Supreme Court comes up and says uh, on a worst case basis that, okay, you scrap the LOI, then what happens in that case? Uh, I, I'm just, see, as far as uh, the case is concerned, uh, there is no merit in the appeal of uh, Tata Motors, number one. Number two, yes, definitely there is a possibility the Supreme Court may say no for it. Now, we have supplied 10 buses and the Supreme Court has permitted to supply the buses further. So, having given the direction or having understood the direction, uh, we feel that the case is, uh, 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 the case is, uh, um, rather the court is permitting us to go ahead with the issue. Uh, in case if something goes wrong, uh, I don't think Supreme Court will say uh, anything against the buses which have already been supplied. So, uh, having permitted by the Supreme Court, there should not be any issue uh, for the buses that uh, have already been supplied, point number one. Point number two, uh, the buses that have been, uh, the, uh, the order of the bus is 2100, whereas we have another 1200 uh, on hand orders. So, um, to add uh, to, uh, uh, to uh, in addition to this uh, 2000, uh, in addition to this uh, 1100 uh, buses, also another 1000 buses tenders are 
in pipeline. If it gets uh, finalized in two, three months' time, definitely there would be some continuation for the production. There will not be any inconvenience as far as production is concerned. Right, right. Uh, thank you. Just, just one more last question, if I may. Uh, in terms of the truck, I think, uh, I think last quarter or the quarter before that, you had mentioned that you will be in the liberty of talking about some partner that you were trying to tie up with for the truck business. Has that been finalized, or has those plans been changed? Uh, if you could give us an update on that, please. Truck, uh, we never mentioned any partner. A truck uh, that is cheaper, uh, mm -hmm. from the day one, uh, we are saying that uh, it's completely an in-house design of uh, Electra Green Tech. In accordance to our uh, design, we have developed okay. the tipper. Yeah, so uh, we do not have any partners as far as tipper is concerned. So where do the batteries and stuff come from, sir, for the for the trucks, yes, again, for the tippers? Yes, yes, again, same... Batteries shall get imported from China. So those don't come from BYD though. Those are that's no. a separate company. It's the a batteries. Yes. Okay. And you're and you're not in the liberty of mentioning who that company is, is what I was trying to ask. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. And so when can we start seeing some traction when it comes to orders or launch of this truck uh, the tripper business? Yeah, probably uh, uh, two more months. Two months. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have the next question from the line of Ritwik Ram, a freelance investor. Please go ahead. Um, hello. Good evening, sir. Uh, congratulations for a uh, for a great quarter, sir. And the results uh, and the results seem very good, sir. Sir, uh, re regarding the fundraising for the expansion of the plan, sir. Is uh, is another right issue? Are you looking at the option of have, uh, of doing a right issue uh, for the fundraising, sir? Uh, because uh, previously you, you Electra had plans to do a right issue, but uh, later the drug, uh, later Electra uh, was taken over by MEIL. So, is there any chance of a right issue as a part of fundraising? Uh, yes, all the options are being examined by the board. I think uh, coming uh, months, definitely we'll, we shall come up with a, uh, a proposal for the fund fundraise. Um, probably uh, um, one of the options may be uh, the right issue. Oh, okay, sir. Uh, second question is uh, second question is that, sir. Uh, on the um, so the first question is on the rights issues. Uh, second question is on the uh, uh, expansion plans. Uh, on the expansion plan, sir. Uh, uh, like uh, uh, by by when will the uh, annual capacity expand to ten thousand buses per year, sir? By within how many years will the factory expand? Uh, from are you looking at a two year span or a three year span? Ten thousand. Two years. First level, we want to expand it for 5,000. Next year, 10,000. Okay, sir. And you're looking at uh, manufacturing e-tipper trucks for uh, 500 this financial year for MEIL? Yes. This financial, probably we'll be doing around 500 uh, numbers. And what And what will be the profit margin on the tipper, tipper trucks? Uh, that uh, we shall have to uh, analyze. Still, since the commercial production has not yet been started, mm -hmm. oh, because it will be outright sale. That's why. Yes, of course, of course, outright. Any plans of uh, developing a R&D center for manufacturing batteries in the near future? No, we do not have any such idea. Uh, because. Uh, 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 big, big, uh, because now, uh, uh, like the, most of the industries are more uh, on self uh, self reliant mode than uh, procuring from China, because uh, all the Chinese companies are are, are under clamp down from the ED ED. So, any any plans of having a non Chinese vendor for batteries? See, as far as uh, uh, the 
bus manufacturing companies are concerned none of the oems are uh, in a mood to establish the battery manufacturing facility same way electra is also not in a uh, not uh, having any idea to develop any manufacturing facility okay sir uh, understood sir uh, thank you very much thank you thank you thank you we have the next question from the line of harish kumar gupta an investor please go ahead hello good evening sir good evening very good evening yeah so sir uh, if i understood correctly uh, i think uh, by july june july 2023 your capacity will be uh, ready uh, um, for 5000 uh, buses and uh, by june june july 2024 10000 buses capacity will be ready so do you have like uh, targets that uh, uh, by when this full capacity can be utilized like uh, in financial year 25 we can deliver uh, uh, like more than 5000 buses or like what are what are your internal targets yeah See, by 23 july um, june august uh, we are expecting 5000 members uh, capacity and uh, 24 we shall be ag- we shall be upgrading the facility to 10000 now by the year 24 fy24 definitely we are planning to make 5000 numbers in the new capacity new facility okay so basically in financial year 24 uh, we are planning to deliver uh, around 5000 buses correct okay and uh, like uh, in that case uh, still operating margins will be in the range of 12% or uh, we can expect a little bit higher numbers uh, because of uh, uh, large capacity utilization yeah please yeah uh, see we we are expecting uh, 12% uh, which is uh, quite a reasonable margin uh, for 5000 buses uh, turnover 12% margin will be uh, uh, will be a decent margin Okay, so we are not targeting higher than that. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That was the last question, and we will now close the question queue. I would now like to hand the floor back to Mr. Kapil Singh for closing comments. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you, everyone uh, from the management team and the investors for participating in this call. Uh, um, Sir, do you have any closing comments? Yeah, nice. Um, it's good to uh, communicate uh, with uh, so many people, and very good questions they have asked. And um, I once again uh, uh, wish to confirm that Alexa is progressing very well, and uh, having 3,300 members on, uh, on hand. definitely during this uh, financial year we would like to uh, deliver 1000 uh, uh, buses and um, also some of the tenders which are in pipeline once they are uh, in, in completed the pro- uh, process some more numbers get added to the probably uh, uh, the uh, next uh, coming financial year uh, the uh, order book goes up and uh, parallel we should also we shall also plan for the uh, higher number of uh, buses now um, equally we are also uh, making the new product development um, apart from the tipper uh, uh, we are also trying to uh, make out uh, some more uh, uh, new products still the products are in uh, Uh, at the main stage so electra is going to be a very strong uh, um, electric mobility company uh, so this is the assurance from um, the electra side thank you very much for having the belief and trust on electra thank you very much thank you members of the thank you members sir thank you members of the management and mr singh ladies and gentlemen on behalf of electra green tech limited and nomira 
That concludes this conference. Thank you for joining us and you may now disconnect your lines.